Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a flood that's resulted from climate change. I take three fingers over here on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way across and stop. I come back to the left. I draw a straight diagonal up straight diagonal down. Come on this side on the left and draw a straight line, straight line, straight line. Connect. We're going to draw some straight lines across and then we're going to draw some little straight lines going perpendicular to the straight lines that we just drew. Okay? I come over a little bit. I draw a straight diagonal up straight diagonal down, straight line, straight line, straight line on the right and on this one I'm going to do curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Now I put little straight lines going down perpendicular to what we just drew all the way across. Okay, now I come over here on the right hand side and I draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Going across the inside, straight lines, and now straight line perpendicular to what we just drew all the way across. Okay? Alright. Now I come back down here to this space and I'm just going to draw a wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. And in this space right here I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and straight line, straight line, connect. <clears throat> I come over to this one straight line down, straight line over, up, connect, straight line over, up, connect, straight line over, up, connect. Okay. Now come all the way up to the top and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line. Move over, wavy, wavy, wavy line, and wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. In this one, I'm going to write F-L-O-O-D, flood. That's what we just drew, or will be drawn. Now I'm going to draw curve line up, connect, curve line down, up, connect, curve line down, up, connect. We're going to fill in this space because a flood results from days and days of heavy rain or melting snow or when rivers rise and go over their banks or in California we have mudslides that happen also because of flooding. So we're going to make all of these curve lines up, connect, curve line up, connect, Curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect, curve line up, connect. Okay, now I'm going to add a couple of more wavy lines down in this space. And I'm going to add some little animation lines, little curve lines, because this is a fast flowing river. Alright, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, this is a pretty bad flood because all we see are our rooftops of the houses. So what we're going to do first is color those in. And you can do these any colors you want. Just make sure 
that they're cohesive with all the other rooftops. If you wanted to get creative, you could put a little person up there. There's somebody who always needs to be rescued. So I did the first one indigo, going through my crayon box again. I did this one purple. I did my last one the opposite. So I did this one purple and I gave it a brown chimney and then I gave this one a brown roof all the way across and I gave it a purple chimney. Okay? Now the thing about a flood is that number one it's dirty water. It's not clean water. So every place that I want a wavy line I'm going to add a brown line also. So I did that first. And these little things floating in the water are called debris flow. That's the runoff from all the other things that are floating in the water. So we're going to put debris flow. And because in California we have flooding, but it usually causes mudslides. So I'm going to put mudslides over here. But it's the same concept. Everything is just falling into the water and going really, really fast, out of control. You can color the debris flow any color you want. And they tell you, stay out of the water. It's moving faster than it looks. Okay. Now we've had some really bad storms this year. And people say it's because of climate change. The whole weather patterns that we used to have are now more intense and lasting longer and more dangerous and more costly and it cannot be ignored anymore that there is definitely something going on with our weather and our carbon footprint from uh, all of the things that we put into uh, the sky. Okay, gray clouds, because it's storming. So we'll make these gray. And then I want to add some gray straight diagonal lines because this rain is not a sprinkle. This is torrential. It's coming down hard. And since I have my gray out, I'm going to add some gray to this nasty water flow that I have going on. Everything that is in the mountains comes down. All the industrial junk comes down. It can be very, very toxic besides being very dangerous. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do is color in with blue-green turquoise my floodwaters. Now, these can these flood these flood this flooding can also happen because of snow melting, which is going to be another one I'm going to do in a minute. There's all kinds of reasons, but basically flooding is water out of control. Okay? Now, my last thing I'm going to add is a little bit of black. Don't go crazy. But you really kind of want this to kind of look icky. It's icky water. Okay? Now, like I said, you can add people on the rooftops. All kinds of first responders. But that's basically it. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my flood all colored in. Another example of there being something up with climate change and a different type of natural disaster. Okay, bye-bye.